Number one, uh, what were you doing before the band? Well, uh, I was doing a lot of things actually, and a lot of things and absolutely nothing, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Music teacher for a year. I was in, uh, well, like, it was called university, but it wasn't really. Uh, studying everything from music production, radio broadcasting, and a little bit of everything, actually. Before heavy metal get into my life and I become a, a proper metal head, I was totally into computers and computer games. They were still quite young at this time. There was um, a lot of excitement happening there. I think I had a good feeling about computers, they were kind of speaking to me in a language that I could understand and I really enjoyed when there all were problems involved into them and there was problem solving. So before the band I, I was playing in a few other bands, uh, nothing big and then the, the biggest band I played in before Sabatel was actually Nocturnal Rights and uh, after I played with them for a few years and then after that I joined Sabatel. Before I joined Sabaton, I was playing in a band called Evergrey, and we were touring the world, actually, uh, a lot. So I started drum taking when I was 16, and then I started touring with a few bands here and there, and then um, I joined Evergrey. We had Sabaton as support in the US. I became good friends with the Sabaton guys, and here I am, seven years later in Sabaton. I got into Sabaton when I was 18, so uh, I didn't have that much time to do that much before I actually got into it. And then, uh, obviously, over time, even as I was in Sabaton, I was doing some extra jobs on the side to get some, yeah, to be able to pay the bills, basically. Before I joined Sabaton, I was working in a recording studio in my hometown in the north of Sweden, the town called Boden. I was also playing a lot with other bands, uh, a little bit of touring with other bands, like my other band Rainseed, uh, this thing called Swedish Hits Goes Metal, I did a lot of covers and concerts on my own with other bands. So I was pretty busy and pretty active as a musician even before I joined Sabaton. Opening is IKEA stuff. We have the first show here in Zurich in Switzerland and I think it's gonna be a lot of people coming tonight. Hello everyone, we are here in Zurich, Switzerland. Take a look at this. That's my drums. So the first time I actually knew that I wanted to be a, an artist or a guitar player, uh, I was about seven years old. Uh, I got my first guitar and I heard of Iron Maiden for the first time and there was no turning back from there. Well, I wanted to become a drummer when I heard Metallica's album Ride the Lightning because we were listening in a, in a tent in my cousin's backyard and it was thunderstorm outside and it was raining a lot. And um, my older cousin came out and he gave us a moo box and he said, this is what you should listen, listen to. And I think the first song was um, For Whom the Bells Tolls. And that really struck me. I couldn't believe it. It was the heaviest shit I've ever heard. So um, I was very intrigued by it and it was very exciting. So I need to get to the bottom of what makes all that noise. And it turns out it's the drums. So therefore I had to start playing the drums. At some point, heavy metal was simply too exciting and uh, I guess I discovered also what meant to be going to a party, to headbang, to enjoy shows and to drink beers and stuff and then a lot changes quite quickly and uh, watching some of the rock and roll documentaries uh, and I get excited and I felt this is the life I want to do, I want to go on tour. I want to be traveling, I want to be in a metal band, I want the energy, I, I want to feel the crowd every night. This is the things that made me excited. And here I am today, and down the road. When I was nine, and my dad showed me the video of Out in the Fields with Gary Moore. And it was at that point I realized, at that age, that 
this is what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life. I'm gonna become a musician, I'm gonna play guitar, and it's all I'm gonna do. So I decided very early that I'm gonna be a musician. And then at the age of 15, I started to sing, play piano, drums and bass, and, and started to write some music. Uh, so at that, yeah, at that point, I really realized that this is all I can do. Well, I never knew actually, and it, it just hit me. I actually, I guess I became a professional musician before I even really wanted it or knew about it. Uh, weird thing really, it's, uh, <laughs> I mean, I always in love, enjoyed playing music. I always loved both writing and performing, but having that as my main income seemed, seemed so far away and almost impossible in a way. Um, of course, it was a dream somehow, but I didn't really think of it like that. I always thought I'd have a, another job on the side just to be able to support the music. But um, I think this is in 2008 or 9. we're playing a show in Athens. It was a crazy show uh, because even though, well, the Greek people are crazy. They don't need to be that many to be <laughs> very loud. but. Uh, I still remember to this day that in the middle of Ghost Division, I think it was, everything went sort of into slow motion. And while singing, uh, I still kind of, you know, my mind starts wandering and I get this feeling and like, hey, I'm in Greece now, having a great time, doing a good show. And I haven't done anything else for the last year or two than playing music. I guess I'm a musician, you know. <laughs> Romanist, a 